first, I'd, uh, I'd you know, like to thank uh, Coach Gino Davis and, and uh, Providence College uh, program for giving us this opportunity to host this basketball game tonight. Um, it, was, uh, it was a great college environment. And, uh, and I got to tip there had a lot of, a lot of uh, high major programs. Wouldn't take a risk of uh, coming into a, to a mid-major uh, building, but you know, they, uh, I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, I, I wish we had uh, a different result tonight. I thought both both teams played extremely hard, um, and the difference in the game is Providence really made some big plays when they needed to, um, whether it was make shots at, at the end of the shot clocks or at, at the end of the half. Or uh, grab the critical rebound um, at just the right time. So um, they stepped up and made plays, and uh, unfortunately tonight we didn't. Bill, in the last play by uh, Peterson, we had to have an idea that was yep. probably coming. We talked about it. What, just too athletic? Didn't get a body? Didn't, yeah, didn't I, see I mean, what? I, you know, it's a tough play because you don't want to foul um, and, and you want to be aggressive. Talked about substituting at that time to go with a little bit bigger uh, lineup. Um, but the guys on the floor have done such a great job for us getting us back. And sometimes um, when they're in there uh, warm like that, that uh, you just give them a chance to make a play. We just had a similar out of bounds play deep in the, in, the, in the corner, and I thought Chase did a great job on the ball, not really getting anybody to give a look to. Uh, we talked about protecting the front of the rim, but you know, I thought it was a great, a great pass, a great catch. Perfect play, but it seemed like the second half was real back and forth, and then I had a double digital lead there. All of a sudden, you guys have been two. You spanned five, seven minutes there. What happened during that run that happened to get you guys back? You know, there? I think we just finally got some stops. You know, we, we were waiting for the opportunity where we got two stops in a row. Um, and it didn't seem to come until till, till deep in the game. I felt proud of did a terrific job uh, getting the tempo, uh, whip. The, the way they like it. Uh, I don't think too many teams have done that to us this year. Um, but we, we, we had some turnovers in the first half because we were going too quickly. And I thought their pressure was a factor at that point in time. And finally, we were able to sit, sit down and, uh, and guard a little bit in the second half, and that really got us back into the game. You got your inside game going in the second half, Coach. Uh, did you make adjustments to attack the problem? Defense. Yeah, we had we had some openings and, and we were a little bit stronger uh, around the basket. I thought we had those same openings in the first half, uh, but we just didn't finish with contact, um, and, and we missed some we missed some laps uh, around the basket that we, we, we normally make. And I think uh, in the second half uh, we were a little stronger around the rim and uh, able to finish some of those shots, which, which allowed us to pick up and, and establish our pressure. Matt. Uh, Matt, this seems to be probably your most aggressive game of the year. Six free throw shots, getting yourself to, to the line a lot more. And only two shots from the outside from three of them. What was there a reason for that? Trying to take what the defense gave you? Yeah, I mean, that's all you really can do. I mean, they, they really pressured us up top. Uh, tried to run pick and roll. Their big stepped up. So, I mean, three point shots that were open were you know, too deep to, to take. But, I think just being aggressive is a step that I've taken in my game. Getting to the basket still needs, needs to develop right now. That's what was open tonight, so Matt, what would you take? I mean, it seemed like every time you got close early, hit a big shot to get it within six or seven, they came back and did with some tough shots and yeah. threes and did it. Was it deflating at all at that point? I mean, if, um, I, I mean, at the time it was. Uh, a little bit, but I mean, then you look up and there's still plenty of time. I mean, we've, we've come back from leagues bigger than that already this year and you know, in the past years, so it's, it's part of just keeping our composure. But I mean, yeah, they, it seemed like every time we kind of made a push, they would come down and hit a big shot towards the end of the shot clock or, or just a three that somehow somebody got over on. So it was tough. Yeah, last year, I know in the, in the, you had the big run in the CA early on, the big defensive rebound. Built up big leads a bit early. We've seen it this year in the Siena game early. It could be you in the second half. You got that lead defense. And then you know, the first half, 
Assignments because uh, you know, Providence at time spaced five guys along the three point line. So a lot of times our guys were out, you know, guarding uh, Curry or, or Brooks, you know, 25 feet from the basket. I thought they did a pretty good job of that. Um, but it was a difficult assignment for them because the you know, Providence's style of play uh, you know, took them away from the basket. But I thought they did a pretty good job of holding the ball in the corner. 